We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs, bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Hey, welcome to Fridge Cam. Now we love to test kitchen gadgets in our studio and thanks to you and your suggestions, we now have another batch ready for our chef Ben and our incredibly normal Barry to test. Lift the cloche. Doesn't go up your bum. My suggestion is this is to create the um, perfect scrambled board egg. Whoa. Because you can do it by hand, by like shaping it, but it takes a hell of a lot of effort. It just looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Does. It does. Yeah. This is the In The Shell Golden Egg, a kitchen gadget that magically whisks an egg without breaking or penetrating into the shell. Easy to operate, pull the rope and the machine starts to spin, during which it will relax the hand muscle and make you happy. This has been created as a solution for kids who refuse to eat the yolks. The, the yolk. The white, yeah. the, growing up, the white was the icky bit, the yolk was the yummy bit. Yeah, I, I, have, I have two kids and that, that's, that's the only bit of the egg that they do eat, is the yolk. I mean, it's, it's got a good feel to it. I like anything that's got a, a good, no, tug to it. <laughs> Here's a box. I thought it was an egg. <laughs> I thought it was going to throw an egg. I went for it. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't work with rings, does it? Right, we'll cut that and we'll try that again so I look really cool. I mean, there is no escaping for this egg. That has got a proper screw on it. Oh, it doesn't fit. Uh, it works for eggs of all shapes and sizes. Eggs are delicate thick. Eggers. <laughs> Why is that? It's just a bit tactless, isn't it? Oh, come on! Right, I'm in. Are you in? Instructions-wise, it says to give it a few pulls. I don't know what a definition of few is, more than a couple. Yep. Maybe less than several, but I would say I've done that a dozen times at least. Yep. Ebbers did 12. We're going to ask you to do 50. We're, we'll all help you, Cam. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what is my life? Release the pressure. Can, can you hear anything? Is this the content that you were after? <laughs> We've got you some boiled water. We'd like you to make a hard boiled egg. Water is boiling. I'm going to slowly lower it in. What are you going to go for? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. A large fridge cold egg for me, seven minutes for hard boil, which I guess is what we want here. Baz, pull it out. I'm really pumped to see if it's worked. That's what we're aiming for. OK. okay. Beige eggs. Beige eggs. Yeah. What colour is it? Egg coloured. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, but like... Like, is it a white egg? Oh. <gasps> You're kidding me. I can see what's happened there. We've wasted a lot of time. <laughs> I can't believe that. Do you want to try and guess how much the, uh, the, the, the egg spinner is? It's £3.95. It's going to be 12 quid. £13.99. pence. So, big question. Useless or not? Useless. F***ing useless. <laughs> you didn't seem to get too excited about no. the last one. Do you want to lift the no. clutch on this one? Right, so it's some sort of scooper and, oh, wait a minute. It's a weighing spoon. Lightning quick. Well, it's got an on-off tear function, which I've only ever seen on a set of scales. It's a JY Lillian kitchen food scale spoon. This handheld scale offers practical tools to measure the weight of flour, milk powders, butters, cream, edible oil and weighs both solid and liquid ingredients and as if that wasn't enough this product is also recommended for weighing pet food like the concept of it um i can imagine a sourdough starter okay every time i want to refeed it i put in about 
75 grams of flour, about 75 ml of water, about 75 grams of the old starter, mix it and then I use whatever's left to, to bake with. Um, and I get a set of scales out every time to weigh a silly little amount of 75 grams. So actually, straight in the flour jar, we have got an edible oil for you to test. There's two attachments, so you might want to remove the scooper and put the spooner on. Before we start, when you tear it, it goes to zero. But if you move it a little bit to the left or right, it's starting to go up and down. 0, 0.0 grams mm -hmm. of air in that spoon. Good. Now I've got 2.6 grams of air in that spoon. It takes a while to get there, 13.3 grams. So now I'm going to put this on here, which I know is accurate. This says 14. So we're within a gram. I'd like to weigh some nuts. I want 50 grams of nuts. Tear. 50.4, I mean, that's pretty accurate. The nuts weigh less at 45 degrees. This is now 43 grams of nuts. Uh, let me just turn on a bowl and tear that. See how accurate it is to 50.3 grams. It's 12% less. I like the idea of it and I can see why people will go for it. But in practice, there's probably more margin for error. Now how much do you reckon it is? Um, 9.99. 12 quid. It's 14 pound 39 pence. Price doesn't shock me. It's a, bit, it's a bit more than I said, but that's fine. So is it useless or not? It doesn't do everything that that does, and therefore you'd need both, which makes this useless. It's a little bit useless. Not completely, it's a little bit useless. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, this is the clue, but I imagine it's a hand-operated grating mill. Do you want to try and put it together and I'll tell you what it really is? Wait a minute, I'm good at these things. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. This is the rolling grater. It's ideal for making food materials. Uh, it easily grates cheeses such as hard-aged parmesan and the vegetable slicer cleanly slices tender and soft ripe tomatoes, cheese, vegetables, potatoes, nuts, onions for coleslaw, hash browns, salad, pizza toppings and more. The enhanced vacuumised base with manual latch safely glues the rolling grater in place and the enforced spinning wheel rotates smoothly and easily even whilst grating the hardest cheese. I feel like I would prefer a, a, a plunger or something. Okay. But, because once you get down to a small bit, you've got your fingers in there, which is a bit more risky, but hey. Will it grate cheese? With great ease. That was impressive. Pa, 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 pa. Suction was good. Easy turn. It works. Well, you know what? I'm mean, going to be honest. I don't get this. These things don't excite me whatsoever. In fact, they just annoy me because I have a very small kitchen and the space in my cupboards is limited. That's quite a cumbersome piece of kit. It will take up a lot of space. I look at it and go, this is just going to get my way at home. As with so many of these gadgets, I think it comes down to how often you think you do that task in the kitchen because there's no doubt that that was quicker and easier. Do you want to hazard a guess at how much it is? I imagine that would be eighteen pounds. Under a tenner, it's gonna be nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Barry, it's sixteen pounds ninety nine. Oh, I don't know what to think of that, really. Oh, but we're making a video about. What I you know. Think of that. You want my opinion, don't you? Yeah. It's not a bad. It's not a bad gadget. I don't think I have a place in my kitchen for that because I don't grate volume of stuff often enough, and if I do do big volume, then I'll do it in the food processor, which is even quicker still. So for me, no, but it absolutely does everything that it should do. So the big question, useless or not? Not useless. It's a good gadget. I just don't like it. That is useful. It's just not for me. Uh, I don't know why you bother. 
Oh! a waffle maker. Yes, this is the Sage Smart Waffle Maker. With Waffle IQ, the cooking time is automatically calculated to suit your waffle style and colour. Simply select Belgian, classic, chocolate or buttermilk, your preferred colour from light to dark and pour in the batter mix. The waffle maker will do the rest. Well, we thought we'd give it a try with a recipe from our new book, CBA2. So we're going to do fried chicken waffles. James has very, very kindly marinated some chicken and made us a sauce. All you need to do is make a waffle batter, cook the waffles, fry off the chicken, and then we can all enjoy it. Secret to a lovely waffle batter, separate out egg yolks and egg whites, and the air and the fluffy comes from the egg whites. Egg yolks, flour, melted butter, bicarb, pinch of salt. Wet into dry, slowly but surely. Loose waffle batter, egg white and all your air goes in. And in this instance, so do our sesame seeds. Lovely. Okay, now for the magic. Belgium classic chocolate buttermilk custom. Uh, classic. Uh, heating, nice golden brown. And go sort of two thirds of the way along the scale. And now it's heating. Chicken marinated in buttermilk, tossed in a mixture of flour and corn flour, well seasoned, and lowered into the pan. Double beat. It's preheated and ready for me to ladle in the batter, avoiding the moat. I love the little touches, like the sesame seeds in this. A ladle in each. Close. Clamp. Lucky for you, Ebers went before you. This is everything you need to make the Korean fried oh, I love that chicken recipe. and waffles recipe yes. from the CBA2 book. Fantastic. So we have got a little bit of ooze into our moat. It's out, look! It's, we're seeping, we've got a seepage. We have snacking waffle. <laughs> right, well here goes. And click, and voila. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at that, okay, so non-sticks. That was without oiling. And I would say, definitely crispy and light, definitely golden. Ho. Oh. They, they don't look like homemade waffles. I wasn't expecting that. That's verging on perfection. What is really good about it is it is even. So it is the same colour all across the top. They look huge, but they're really light. Plate it up. Yes. It's the waffle we're testing here. So I'm going to start there. Fair. I wasn't expecting to have so much flavour in it, purely because its trenches are so deep. It's carrying so much of that sauce. That's what makes it amazing. I think I'd do it for a minute less next time, but that is a good waffle. It's such a well-balanced but filthy dish. Now get a bit of everything going. Mm. That is so good. Baz, I can tell you're having a very nice time. Uh. Should we switch the conversation up and talk about money? Yeah, please. How much do you think the Sage Smart Waffle Maker is? Let's go 200 quid. 200 pounds. That's a professional quality and I imagine very durable waffle line that makes great waffles. But I, I don't know, I've got no idea. 149 pounds, 96 pence. That is a lot. And I, I don't have a use for waffles in my life that often to justify that. You need to love your waffles and want to make them on the regs. But 
If you do, this won't let you down. Like that is, in my eyes, the perfect waffle. So is it useless or not? Not. No, it's a, it's a really, really good waffle line. It is not useless. It's not useless, it's very, very good. It just, again, I don't have a place for it in my life. Well, thank you for all of your suggestions. I don't know whether you sent them to us because you thought we'd really like them, sorry, or whether you thought we'd have fun testing them. We did. Either way, comment down below, let us know which one was your favorite and what should we be testing next? CBA2 is available to buy right now, and if you'd like a copy, then check out the link in the description box below or head to sorted.club forward slash bookshop. And now for a blooper. <laughs> Sorry. Does, does it stop? Are we, are we awake? I was worried there for a second. Yeah. I thought that well, was it. Maybe, yeah. I thought that was it. Three layers deep. <laughs> <laughs>